Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So, I'm going to rant a little bit here. Today, it's going to be a rant on a current decision that RBC made. So, don't get me wrong, this is coming from a guy who got laid off a couple weeks ago, and I got rehired pretty quickly, but I'm young, unlike a lot of these employees they let go. Um, with me, when I got laid off, I sat in the office, and my manager sat me down and says, our company, you know, because of the growth and the way the economy is changing, we can't, we can no longer support you and stuff like that. And that was fine. For me, I know, um, I knew it was coming because there was less and less work in the area I was in, and there were, you know, just lots of fees. I don't want to go too much into that one, but we'll say that I understood why I was being let go, and it was all good. The company had to downsize. Then I go and I start doing some research today about this RBC. Uh, big firing that happens where they lay off a bunch of workers and it just sickened the shit out of me. Uh, the fact is that Canadians and it's all across Canada, BC, other places like that, they're hurting for work. They need, you know, tons of people need work. And they're, this company starts letting people off and stuff, whatever. You know what? Uh, you have to lay people off because RBC needs to cut costs. That would be fine. But then there's completely fucking revamping your staff and bringing in foreign workers and then trying to bandage it with the biggest bullshit excuse I've ever seen in my life. I started reading up, I listened to a couple of news reports on it. The first one is just reports of, you know, a guy going on and saying, you know, I'm 50 years old now. And they let me go because I'm, you know, he's pretty high paid. And they let him go so that way they can get an immigrant from India to go and do his job for cheaper. And instead of, you know, saying straight up, you know, yeah, we had to hire these workers so we could cut costs. No, it wasn't that at all. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't, we don't hire these workers. We just started sourcing the work. You know, imagine doing that. All you're doing is... You don't know why these new workers are coming in, but they're bringing in new workers because they say they're expanding. You're teaching them. They pull everyone that you were just teaching into the office saying, you're now taking their job. By the way, all you guys you just taught them, you're all fired. And that's happening a lot, don't get me wrong. But it's sickening knowing that the fact is we have so many workers here that, are, that need work. They are dying for it. And, you know, people are wondering why the suicide rate and everything's up. The whole reason why is because People don't have jobs, they can't support their families, they get in that depression state in their heads and they go, you know, brain fucked because they just, they can't support themselves anymore and they can't even think about supporting a child, a kid, you know, running their car on the road, anything like that. Just having your car in the garage is, you know, the insurance is too much, stuff like that. And then, like I said, they're outsourcing the jobs from India, they're bringing people in. We already are having populations problems and over housing and whatnot and, um, no offense to East Indians because it, I've worked in the housing industry now, like I've, I do pre-wire, but some of the worst built houses are from foreign immigrants that are coming over here and they're building houses like they would back home. For instance, we have a stud gap of 16, you're supposed to have 16 inch stud gaps in the wall. When I go into 50% of East Indian houses, it is either, I've seen them as you know, as close as 18, and I've seen them as far as 24 to 26 inches. This is ridiculous. Um, because later on, they're asking me why their wall cracked in half when I hung a TV on their wall. Well, that's because your wall's bowed because you should have put more studs for one for support, and you're wondering why your house is falling apart after four fucking years. Well, you should probably spend a little bit more time doing that. I've also been in some sketchy jobs where they've started ripping insulation out of the fucking wall to cut costs. So they'll get it all ready, they'll get it inspected, and then they'll rip the drywall back down, rip out the insulation, and put the drywall back up. It's And then they do it for every inspection. It gets really sketchy. Once again, I'm not putting this on all foreigners because I've got a lot of East Indian friends. We're great. You know, they're great workers. They work hard, but it's getting into the mentality and it's just statistics. It's what it comes down to. Um, and it's the fact that they're just imported a crap load of them to come and replace jobs that could easily be filled here. But no, they got to bring, you know, more fucking foreigners over to try and do it and give out visas. You know, they tried to do this in China once. They tried to bring a bunch of Chinese immigrants over here so they could work the mining industry because they could get them for cheaper. And they're, well, let's face it, they work really fucking hard for 
bottom dollar. I mean, you pay them 10 bucks an hour and they're like, whoa, I'm making a million bucks. You know, it's just crazy. Yeah. Stuff like that. So stuff like that drives me insane when we're bringing foreigners over and we have so much work here. It's one thing to get laid off because your company needs to downsize and it's another to get laid off after you've trained somebody because they're going to now take your job for half the fucking cost. And they don't even from Canada or anything. And let's face it, like I said, jobs, we're, they're scarce right now and you're 50 years old. You now no longer have like even a pension plan or anything, we'll say, or you're taking a big hit on it, and you have to, you pretty much have to retire early. You can't even get a good job at McDonald's. I mean, I remember going to McDonald's, and this guy was telling me that, oh, he had a degree, and he was stuck in that because his profession was no longer hiring after his four years of schooling. It's just getting crazy out there. The worst thing they could be doing is importing foreigners. And like I said, the worst thing RPC could have done is try and bandage it up with the fucking fact that they say, oh, it's not us that's outsourcing the work. We're bringing in another company to do it. Oh, so you don't want to be the bad guy, so you went and grabbed someone to front the bad shit for you. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty happy at the fact I threw both my royal bank cards in their fucking faces and said, give me my money, and I went and opened an account with Scotia. Um, it's just stuff like that. I mean, I've uh, are not opened an account. I've already been with Scotia. I was looking at opening a mortgage, mortgage account with um, RBC. Well, that ain't fucking happening. I don't care what their interest rates are. I support Canadian workers, and I'm, it doesn't even matter if you're from England or anywhere else. I'm sure you support your workers, too. You don't. I don't know, I'm not going to go into racial slurs or anything, but it's the fact that it's one thing when they come over here and get jobs. Because like I said, i got lots of friends, East Indian friends, and they're hard fucking workers, and I will never bash an entire race because that's ridiculous. But it's the fact that we're importing jobs once again when we shouldn't be. We we don't have enough jobs for the amount of people we currently have in the country. That's why, you know, there's visa cutoffs and stuff like that. There's reasons for things. Anyways, I had to rant a little bit. I had to vent. I want to know your fucking opinions on this. I want to know what you guys think about this entire situation. Have you ever cut ties with a company because of a business decision? Have you, you know, ever not agreed? Well, I can't say not agreed with the way that a company went with because everyone would say YouTube in their new layout. So, um, other than that, post in the comment section below, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. All right, guys, peace.